Hey guys, welcome to my channel and for another video. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing and also shampooing my hair using the African Black Soap. And the version I'm using is Tangerine Citrus from Alafia. I bought this soap with my own money, so this is not a sponsored video. I just really wanted to try it and see how I felt about it. So the first three ingredients in this soap are African Mint, Saponified Shea Butter and Palm Kernel Oil. On average, this soap has about eight ingredients in it. It also has laurel glucoside, which is a surfactant. And basically a surfactant is a fancy way of saying a cleansing agent. Something like sodium laurel sulfate or sodium laurel sulfate are surfactants, but they're very, very aggressive. Laurel glucoside on the other side is a very gentle surfactant. Also, it has some essential oils which give it a very energizing, uplifting fragrance. And those citrus oils include orange and tangerine. It also has a little bit of lemongrass and litsy oils. So let's get started with the soap and see if we like it. So I primed my hair using my garlic oil, which is a DIY I will link at the end of this video. And instead of using my mats the next day, I just decided to shampoo my hair. Normally I don't shampoo often, but every so often I will shampoo my hair. So one of the things that I was impressed by this shampoo is the consistency of it. It is very semi-liquid, so it's not too thick and it's not too thin, so it will cling to your hair strands really, really well. And then another thing that was impressive was even though I have some oil sitting on the strands, it was able to cut through that and foam remarkably well. So for me that is a plus and I really like that about the soap. Also, for those of you who are curious, yes, I wash my hair in twists and that's because I want to minimize tangling as much as possible. I'm a true 4C and also this is a new product so I wasn't sure how my hair was going to react to it so washing in twists is a defense mechanism. Again, as you can see, it forms exceptionally well. Granted, I did have to use a little bit more product than I normally would but it wasn't by much. So this is a really, really great soap, especially if you you're looking for a gentle cleanser and also if you don't use a lot of commercial products on your hair if you use products that are not soluble in water especially like the silicones you may need something stronger like a clarifying shampoo but for general everyday uses this is a great shampoo to have and here's what it looks like once I have unraveled the twist. Again, I normally just put shampoo on my roots and then let the hair strands be cleansed while I rinse out. With this soap, I can actually see some of my texture definition, which was actually a surprise. And when it comes to rinsing, it was again a very easy process. It took me maybe two minutes max to rinse my hair. Of course, my hair is shorter, so if your hair is longer, it might take a little bit longer than that. But the point is, it doesn't take a lot of effort to rinse out. It will just fall off of your hair. And after you're done, your hair doesn't feel stripped at all. And in fact, I can see a lot of texture on there, which was a surprise. And I think it's because it has citrus in it, which is acidic. Granted, I feel like my hair has been shampooed, but it doesn't feel stripped at all. It feels really good and fluffy, and I was very, very impressed by this soap. I was expecting a little bit of stripping, but I feel nothing. In fact, I could get away without deep conditioning my hair, but I will deep condition nonetheless. So when it comes to cleansing, it did a very, very good job. Um, and as you can see on my scalp, really, really clean. Now granted, I don't use a lot of commercial products, so there wasn't a lot to clean in the first place, but it did do a very, very good job of cleansing my hair. Finally, I am going to dry my hair in sections and I'm going to band those sections because my hair is very prone to shrinkage. So normally I dry it when it is stretched somehow and this is simply by just using some bands and I'm gonna keep it that way until I deep condition. Now it's important to deep condition after the black soap because pH ranges, it could go anywhere from eight to 10, which is extremely alkaline. So you want to normalize the pH of your face and your skin as well. Once you use the black soap for the hair it could be as easy as spraying some aloe vera juice on your hair or some diluted apple cider vinegar and diluted apple cider vinegar is actually great because not only will it normalize the ph it will strip your hair of any soap scum that may still be stuck on your hair or you can do what I do, which is to make a simple deep conditioner using aloe vera juice and yogurt leave that for an hour and you are done so 
Does the I love your black soap get Gabrielle's stamp of approval? Yes, it does. If you're looking for a gentle cleansing shampoo, definitely try this one. It doesn't strip your hair, it's easy to use, and it will rinse off very easily. And of course, a benefit is that it is a multi-purpose soap, meaning you can use it for your body and your hair, and you can use it for all your family. Thank you so much guys for watching, I hope the video was useful. Additional notes as usual will be linked in the info bar below and if you've used any of Alafia products please let us know how you like them and what you used. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care until then, bye!